Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Mochi and Frosting. This is the sixth game in the Lonely Wolf Treat series. And, uh, why, did, why does Mochi look sad? How do I, how do I hit the OK button? There we go. Haven't played this in a while. Where we last left off the game, the garden was destroyed, and I think there was a note somewhere. Treat. Our garden. It killed it. Someone killed it. Sorry, if not for me. If I wasn't here, this wouldn't have happened. Fuck that! Don't say th this is not your fault, Tree. It actually is not. This is whoever was dumb enough and stupid enough and, and fucked up enough to think that it's their business to fuck your business up. <clears throat> Wolves aren't guard- Fuck that! No! I'm gonna go right over to that bunny village and then burn it. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really help, but like, that... That's not cool. Ochi? Come on, Treat, let's take you... Let me take you somewhere safe. Yeah, because it's only a matter of time before they go after you next, and that's a problem. Oh, now we're moving. Okay. Where are we going? Ochi, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, but and you don't make my life worse. The one you're not the one who's doing that. Let me guess, it's the village. But I really feel like if we never met, you could have lived happily in frosting with your cousin. That's not true. Please don't think like that, Treat. I'm sorry, it feels true. As you're living with me, you'll get hurt. I should have realized that. You're not responsible for that. I have to take you. I have to take you to the hot springs. We can talk about it when we're safe inside, okay? We better be safe, otherwise I'm gonna fucking punch somebody in the dick. Probably a bunny villager. It's okay. We're almost there. Oh fuck! Right. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought the bunny person was sad. I was surprised to see Treat crying when you came in, but now it all makes sense. What a cruel thing to do. It's so outrageous. I know, right? Fuck! Revenge quest? Ooh. I like you. You're my new favorite. So, uh, how are we gonna burn the village down? And preferably kill nobody? Because that would be bad. Destroy their livelihood, not their lives. Though I guess, no, that that's still fucked up. I'm in the wrong mindset. Don't burn down the their place, but do revenge. Mochi isn't suited for revenge? Fuck! I see some death in those eyes. I see death in Mochi's eyes right now. I'd help. I'm all for this revenge, but, like, maybe don't burn the village down like I had suggested. <clears throat> I don't know, I'd like to find out who who it was. You see any? How could anyone not want revenge after seeing all their efforts trampled? In any case, the two of you are welcome to stay here tonight. Can't imagine you'd want to return home. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, May. Will we be okay here, if I go? In the frosting? Yeah, in the frosting. I understand. I'll try not to take too long. Mochi, get your cardigan before you go. It's windy. I want you to get cold. Okay, I'll grab it. Thanks, Treat. My cardigan would probably be in my house, I assume. Ah! Please tell me we didn't forget our cardigan. <sighs> How do they have to pick today out of any other day? Good question. Why on such a good day? I haven't done anything wrong! What has Treat ever done to anyone? She hasn't done anything... She hasn't... She doesn't deserve... No, she doesn't. She doesn't deserve to feel like I'd be better off without her. That's true. So get your card again, we're gonna go do a thing. At least they didn't wreck the inside of our house. The cardigan should be in the dresser. 
So this thing. All right. Should I grab a knife? No, probably not. Not hungry. Wasn't gonna get food. I was trying to read the note. All right. Vengeance time. How are we gonna How are we gonna take him out? Empty. Well, at least the note on the door is gone. Maybe the Maybe the culprit didn't leave. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm a rabbit, so it's safe. Climb the gate. Yeah, climb the gate. Hey, you! Stop! The gate's closed, miss. You can't just climb over it. How else am I supposed to get in? I need to find whoever destroyed our garden. You can't climb the gate. You have to wait for the guard to let you in. I'm not going to wait. Huh? I said I'm not going to wait! Do you have anything to do with it? With what? Our garden. Someone destroyed it while we were away. What's your problem? I've never seen you before. I don't know anything about your garden. Then shut up and stay out of my way. Ooh. Who's out here shouting? I want to join in too. Mind you, this bunny climbed over the gate. I'm trying to get her to leave. That's my cousin. Leave her alone. Sorry, I didn't know you were related. You do. Did this guy make you cry? What do you want me to do to him? I want you to punch him in the dick. Someone destroyed our garden. I don't know who. Show me. I want to talk to Danny. Danny hasn't come home. Show me your garden. I don't know what to do, Juju. I don't know who did it. It wasn't you, was it? You wouldn't do something like that, right, Juju? Oh, gee, I know we haven't been talking, but it, is never, it was never because I hate you. I wouldn't destroy something of yours. Juju, I really need your help. It's okay, will you show me what happened? Follow me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Damn. I don't like that wolf either, but this is a little overboard. A little? Will you help me find who did it? I have some ideas. I can at least bring you around with me to question people. Okay, but there are rules you have to follow. What rules? You can't say mean things about treats. I don't want I don't want to hear it. Do you promise? Sure. You promise, right? Yes, I promise. I can do that for one night. Sheesh. Good. I don't want to be in a fight with you, Juju. I missed you. So you can't be mean to treat. I love her. Let's go. Well, shit. Wait, her class rank is upset? Okay. So who can we question? Usually there's one more thing that I should say before we do this. What? Street confessed to me earlier today, so we'll be a couple from now on, and I don't want and I don't care what anyone else thinks of it. That happened today? Yes, while well, we were out. Then we came back to the garden being like that. And the note I can't remember what the note said, but I know it wasn't flattering. That really sucks. Yeah, that's why I want to do something about it. I understand. Thanks. I just wanted to be clear about it so you wouldn't be surprised later on. I'm not really surprised to begin with. You are either really grumpy or don't like me. Well, who should we try first? I'm not sure. We could ask Senbei? He's friends with the, with most of the first guys, I'd suspect. Who's Senbei? He's cool. His dad is the witch who built the wall for us. So if we walk past my house and follow along the wall, we'll end up there. I'll follow your lead. So past your house, follow along. That's it? Or is it further up? Probably up here. Man. Are you Senbei? Hi, Mr. Ma Moose. Sorry to bother you so late at night, but I have some questions if you don't mind me asking. Something happened? You know the garden I started with treat? When we came home today, it was completely destroyed. That's terrible. Sorry to hear it. If anyone passed through the front gate today headed in that direction, could you tell me their names? I wish I could help, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary today. 
They could have gone through the hot springs gate instead. That one's unguarded. Huh. I'm sorry, would you like to contact the authorities? I can file a report for you. I don't know how much rabbit police would be willing to help a wolf. That's a good point. Maybe if you pretended it was only you living here. Just forget it. Mm. Oh. It's gone. Yeah, your old place was in the way of how they wanted to expand the town, so it got torn down. Eh. Well, it's not like I was coming back, so... Huh. So this gate is unguarded? Is there a special key for this gate? I wouldn't call it special. A lot of people in town have one. The gate locks automatically, so if you forget your key, you just walk to one of the main gates instead. Then no one really keeps an eye on who comes and goes through this one. It's intended only for residents of Frosting, so no, it's not guarded all that closely. So a resident of Frosting did it. That's what I'm to assume. This is where Senbei lives? Yeah, pretty nice, huh? What kind of person is he? He's really cool. You'll like him. He said he's friends with one of the most of the rabbits you suspect. Well, he has lots of friends. That's what it's like being popular. He can't help it if some if some of them happen to be troublemakers. Dude, you, you're gonna you're doing this to help me, right? Yes, obviously. If we ask Senbei, he'll probably know who wrecked your garden. Okay, let's ask him. I already don't like Senbei, though. Because he associates with somebody... Somebody? Somebody... Who... May have wrecked our garden. Ah, oh, Manju, welcome. Senbei's upstairs in his room, assuming you've come to see him. Thank you, sir. I have you brought with you this time. I don't believe I've seen you around, little bunny. Sorry for the late introduction. This is my cousin, Mochi. Mochi, is it? That's a fine name. I am Brickzo, the Brick Witch. A rather apt name, eh? My father was a clairvoyant. Usually that gets a laugh. If I spoil the mood. Please excuse her, sir. She's had a tough night. We're trying to resolve the issue. I see. Well, cheer up, little buddy. Your cousin here is helping you out, so it can't all that be all that bad, eh? Sunbay's upstairs, right? Yeah, let's set up. I'm going to murder him. Come on, Mochi, can't you at least put on a fake smile? Switch is a powerful guy. I don't want you to talk to Senbei if you're going to be this rude. I'm going to talk to whoever I want, however I want, because right now, I've had a really fucking bad night, and I'm going to just fucking punch someone in the dick if I have to, so, uh, yeah! Oh, hi, Senbei. You go ahead and wait here, Mochi, and I'll be back down with some information soon. Why am I... Why can't I go in with you? I'm sensing a cover-up. Do I talk to this guy? Hey, make yourself at home! Can I listen in? How long do I have to wait? I think there's a bedroom, so I'll just stay out here. Okay, well, what if I wander around a bit? Oh my god, that's a bunny! It's a giant bunny! Hello. What's it like being in animal form all the time? Is it easier? Well, you won't answer. I'm just passing time awaiting for my cousin. Sorry to intrude. I have a big TV. Looks like magic encyclopedias. Exactly what you'd expect a witch to own. Naturalism. Embracing your true form. Skim through? Sure. As animal folk, we come to, into this world with furry bodies, claws, fangs. Each species has its own unique traits. Why throw it away to conform to humanity? It may be inconvenient at first to cope with the limitations of your natural body when immersed in a society designed for human bodies, but do not despair. There is hope for us yet. Within the past decade, many naturalist havens have been built near major cities. If you're unable to migrate, find out if your local local wilderness is habitable for your species. If all else fails, many have still been able to attain happiness living at home alongside their understanding families. With only a few small household changes, you can live the way you want. Remember, naturalism is not always a choice. Various spells can cause an animal to lose their transformation ability even before birth. Be respectful and refrain from flip-flopping. Hmm. Never thought about any of this before. Only photos. Seeing these makes me, me want to take pictures with Treat and Moxie. Maybe after you're done, you can. The Bored Witch, a children's book based on an old legend. 
You can ask it from elementary school. We'll do that in a moment. Yeah, sure, why not? Once upon a time, there were two witches. They left their world and traveled together across the universe. Until one day they found... Somewhere else. The people of... Somewhere else. Were peaceful. They had never known war or even fear. It was a heavenly paradise, and the witches spent a hundred years living there happily. The good witch loved the people of... Somewhere else. But the bored witch thought... This world is just no fun at all. I've grown tired of this peace. The bored witch cast a spell... Cast his spell, and suddenly the people of... Somewhere else... Grew ears, tails of all different shapes and sizes. They became half human, half beast. Their cursed appearances caused them to fight amongst each other. Their civilization fell. The good witch had to do something about his friend who had betrayed everyone. So with a heavy heart, the good witch sealed the board witch so that he would never harm anyone again. But it was too late for the people of somewhere else. Their half forms have unsettled their hearts, breeding hate. All the good witch could do was to complete the transformation spell so that the former humans could become full beasts. Only then was order had order been restored. Freed from their sinful half-forms, the animals lived happily ever after. And sinful half-forms? This version is different from what I remember. Huh. The fuck? Looks like the kitchen and dining room over here. No one's around. Juju. Sorry for the wait. Let's get going. Wait, did he know anything? Uh, yeah, we'll talk outside. Something tells me you're hiding something. Well, won't tell me what happened? Oh, well, I couldn't really find the right moment to ask him directly, but... What? Here's the thing, Mochi. I really like him, and he seems really interested in me, too. Before you knock, we almost... Juju, what about my garden? So what if Senbei didn't know anything? Did I say I was giving up? We haven't gone inside the warren yet. There's still a lot of suspects left. You just wanted to come here first so you could talk to your stupid crush. That wasn't my only reason. I really thought he might know something. Besides, you're not the only one who gets to have a love life. I'm still helping you, aren't I? <laughs> Help from Juju. What a waste of time. You're in there making out with some guy while I'm stuck waiting in this place I don't even know. Stuck talking to the witch who built your stupid wall for you. This horrible wall that doesn't even need to exist. It doesn't need to exist. Those foxes were gonna kill me that night. They said it themselves, isn't that reason enough? They're not like that. They're Moxie's friends, it was a misunderstanding. Whatever, let's just drop it. I hate that you don't understand. I hate it. There, there, baby cousin. I don't want you to cry anymore. That's not... What? You, you should probably just back off a bit. Just back off. What you did was not cool, and you didn't get to the heart of the matter with your boyfriend crush thing. You didn't at least imply it. You just kind of said, so what if you didn't know anything? Like, you didn't even ask him. You can just not talk about the things we disagree on. That's been working so far, right? I don't want your help anymore. Just forget the whole thing. I don't care who destroyed the garden. What? You throw a huge tantrum and now you don't even care? doesn't matter. So what, you're just gonna leave? Are we just gonna go back to never speaking to each other, even though we're family? I don't know, Juju. You haven't been treating me very well. I do miss you, but it hurts so much to be here like this. I'm sorry. I'm going back to treat for now. You know, your life has only gotten worse by clinging to that wolf. <laughs> Stupid Juju. She thinks so, too. I want to punch Juju. And probably the guy, too. Why did I think that it would be okay to let Juju help? Has she always been this bad? She was only thinking of herself. Didn't she see how important this was to me? And I'm crying this much? Or maybe I'm always crying in front of her. So she didn't realize. And I didn't think about it. <sighs> Nothing's fine about this situation. <laughs> I miss Moxie. She'd yell at Juju for me. Not that it would do any good. That she would. And also, she'd probably eat your cousin. 
Nochi, welcome back. Did you find the culprit? Tell me who it was. It'll be my turn to take revenge next. No, I didn't find who it was. I don't really care anymore. Did something happen? Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Even if I knew who it was, even if I got to explain to them why it hurt me so much, they just wouldn't get away with it. They just wouldn't get it anyway. Seeing my cousin again made me realize that. This is very unsatisfying. We'll have to do an investigation of our own, May. Glad we have friends like you. Sorry that I had to give up. Why don't you worry about that one bit, Mochi? You deserve some rest after everything they put you through. Treat's waiting for you upstairs. Room 105. Thank you both for everything. Uh, upsy stairs. Room 105. Or 5, this one? Hi, Treat. Mochi. Yay, hugs! Both of you deserve hugs. Where the fuck is Moxie when you need her? She needs to get in on this too, because that was a fucked up scenario. I was worried. Are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry I left you here. I know you were really mad. I didn't want you to I didn't want to hold you back. Well, Juju certainly did. Thanks. I'm okay now. It was a bad idea, the whole thing. Juju showed up right away and I asked her to help. I thought she would help me. I wasn't thinking straight at all. Juju always used to stand up to bullies for me, so I thought... A stupid mistake. I just want to forget the whole thing. No, she, she should have helped you. It's not your mistake, it's hers. Thanks, but I shouldn't have trusted her. Especially when she's been so horrible to you. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, Treat. It's okay, it's not your fault. When our garden is ruined and I couldn't find who did it. I don't care about that. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. I'm sorry. I keep crying when you're the one who's suffering more. Maybe we should take a bath. I think that'll help us both relax. That does sound nice. I'm glad we could... I'm glad we have the whole place to ourselves. Me too. What should we do now? Probably find food. You know, for the future. Oh. Wanna run away together? I already ran away, remember? This is different. What if we moved somewhere nice? We live closer to Moxie. Maybe we could go traveling together like Trick does. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know. Sorry. I'm just trying to plan ahead. It'd be hard to stay here and pretend like nothing happened. When I lived with my pack, we built houses out of ice. So that we'd be able to move easily every few months. I came to frosting thinking I could leave once the seasons changed. Until I met you. Ah, This is the longest I've ever stayed in one place. It would have been nice for it to be my home. But if we can find a new one together, maybe it'll be better. It will be better. I'll make sure of it. Thanks, Mochi. I love you, Treat. The least I can do is make sure we have a nice home together. Don't make me cry again. You gotta make somebody in the chat cry again, too. Not me, because I'm pretty dead inside. But yeah. Looks like Annie and May went to bed. We're staying up so late. Yeah, we own this hot springs now. <laughs> they would get mad if they heard you say that. You better keep it a secret, then. Glad you're feeling better. Only because I've got you. Now what? Can we go up for... and sleep, I guess. We have to sneak back so we don't wake the other guests. Okay. Sneak, sneak. We don't have to walk so slowly. Okay, okay. It's not like they're gonna hear you outside. Oh yeah, it's paper-thin walls, right? We made it back unseen. Pretty stealthy tree. You have so much energy. I'm just happy. This is the kind of night I wanted to have with you after we got back from the beach. Me too. I was nervous before, but now I just feel relieved. I think like coming nothing like something bad happening to bring us closer together, huh? It'd be nice to skip that part. Yeah, it would. It really would. But you know what, you had a good moment regardless. That's the important thing. The stars are so pretty. Yeah. I used to live in Daifuku. 
It's a big, bright city, so the stars would get lost in the sky. Oh. I didn't know the night sky could look different from other places. Well, yeah, because you move places and then the stars look a little bit different because you're in a ge different geographical location and the Earth spins, so you're going to see different stars sometimes. Yeah. Also, the lights kind of probably oh, out shine the stars, so yeah, it's nicer here. Glad I decided not to stay in Daifuku. What kind of place do you want to live in, Treat? Well, I like Mount Sorbet. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, I like it here too. It's decided. Find a new home here away from Frosting. But I should probably go see my parents first to tell them where I'm going this time. Treat's parents. I bet they're nice. At this time of year, it shouldn't be too difficult to travel to that part of the mountain. If they're where I'm thinking, would you come with me? Of course! I'd love to meet them! I'll have to ask Moxie, too. Let's go and see her tomorrow, then. Tomorrow. I'm nervous. I have to lie down. You lie down. I guess I'll... do the same thing. I think... Aw, oh, they're holding hands! <laughs> and Treat's embarrassed. Mildly. Treat, even the, in the dark, your face is bright red. <laughs> it's because you suddenly held my hand. No, it was like that before I even did anything. Sorry, it just feels like, finally, despite everything, I'm really going to get to live the life I wanted. I'm so nervous, but I'm happy, too. Thank you for liking me, even when it isn't easy. I don't know what you're talking about, Treat. It's super easy to like you. I love you. I love you, too. It is really easy to like Treat. I want to give her a hug. Though she'd probably not be okay with that, so... Friendship. Friendships first. Let's get some rest. We'll have a lot of traveling to do tomorrow, will we? That you will. And we will. Rather. Phone, what do you want? Nothing important. Oh, that was short. Not that that's a problem. I enjoyed this. I actually really enjoyed this. And now I can't wait for Treat 7. That was sad, though. And I hope things get better toward the end game. I don't know how long this is supposed to be. Maybe eight parts? Maybe twenty-seven? We'll find out. I don't think there's gonna be twenty-seven parts, but, like... So let's see how many there are right now. Yeah, just six. And then a few side stories. Trick has only been in, like, one game. Maybe they're gonna run into Trick in the next part. Maybe I'm giving the writer ideas and I apologize. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shiro and Leviel for supporting me on, t on Patreon this month. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!